Now, Israel is reportedly in the midst of a planning of a strong reply to the Iranian missile reprisal. Now, the IDF has threatened Tehran, saying that the retaliatory attack will be very serious and very significant. And our next report tells you as to which are the possible targets that the state of Israel is looking at in Iran. Take a look. Israel is determined to deliver a hard-hitting response to Iran for launching a barrage of 200 ballistic missiles at it on Tuesday. Iran made a big mistake tonight and will pay for it. The regime in Iran does not understand our determination to defend ourselves and our determination to retaliate against our enemies. Given Iran's relatively weak air defenses, Israel's superior air force has a wide range of options it can target in Iran, a task in which it will be assisted by the U.S. intelligence. The most likely targets would be sites or units associated with Iran's missile assault on Israel. This includes command and control centers, missile launch pads, fueling sites, and even commanders overseeing the country's ballistic missile arsenal. Israel could also opt to bomb Iran's oil refineries that are the country's economic lifelines. But for now, Israel is keeping everyone guessing on the parts of Iran's oil infrastructure that it will try to attack. Gasoline refineries that mainly serve Iran's domestic market are one possible target. Persian Gulf Star Plant is the most important domestic source of gasoline for Iran. It met 40% of the country's needs last year. A broader assault would be attacks on the oil terminals used to ship oil out of the country. This could mean hitting the Karg oil terminal, located on an island off Iran's northwestern coast that handles over 90% of the country's oil exports. If Israel chooses to strike Iran's developing nuclear weapons program, the main sites include uranium enrichment centers in Fordo and Natanz, which are both deep underground under layers of rock and concrete. Another target could be the nuclear center outside Isfahan, a key element in its nuclear program. But the US has opposed any strikes on Iran's nuclear program, indicating it could lead to a wider conflagration. The Israelis have not concluded how they're, what they're going to do in terms of a strike. That's under discussion. I think there are, if, if I were in their shoes, I'd be thinking about other alternatives than striking oil fields. Iran has issued a strong warning, claiming it won't back down from launching a crushing attack if Israel retaliates. The risk can only escalate further if Tehran chooses to launch attacks on Arab Gulf states that host U.S. air bases or choose to plant sea mines in the Strait of Hormuz. Bureau Report, We On, World is One. All right, now to give us more perspective in terms of what is likely to unfold, we're being joined by Dr. Avner Cohen, who's a professor of non-proliferation and terrorism studies at the Middlebury Institute. He's joining us live on this broadcast. Now, Dr. Cohen, this, this is what has been a matter of intense speculation, where the state of Israel under Netanyahu has said that it will retaliate to the Iranian missile reprisal that was witnessed on the 1st of October but the nature of the Israeli response at this moment is still unclear. What, in your assessment, is likely to be the Israeli response? It's difficult to say. It's not only the uh, nature of the targets and the kind of the targets, but it's also the timing. Uh, Israel is, uh, within days, going to celebrate very solemnly the October 7th, a full year. Uh, Israel is uh, at, uh, at the midst of the high holidays, the Jewish holidays, the, the, the holidays of the Tishrei, Tishrei months in the Hebrew calendar. So it's complex just in terms of timing. Uh, Israel was committed by a number of uh, serious and uh, senior speakers to, to respond and to respond significantly, as you and others just have said. It's a complicated trade-off. Uh, there are two, there are four categories. It could be symbols of the regime, visible, strong, public symbols of the regime, uh, including uh, economic assets, including government facilities. Could be the nuclear issue, as you related to. Mm -hmm. uh, it could be military targets. 
And it also could be a strong economic asset chart as the, uh, the refineries and the oil industry. All of them have complex uh, trade-offs. I think that uh, to attack right now Israel alone, the nuclear facilities, even though the persuasion, especially among Netanyahu, could be high, would be a mistake because Israel alone may not be may not be possible to make the damage that is really needed to halt the Iranian program for quite a number of years, three or four years. Uh, for that, Israel should do it with the United States right. jointly. I don't think the United States would join for Israel, and I think the private uh, advises not to do so. So that's a problem. You know, but Netanyahu uh, with, is not known to listen to American correct. advice time and time correct. again. And, and just to dwell a bit more on, on this potential nuclear option, the Iranians have made it clear that if their nuclear facilities were to come under attack by the Israelis, then they have said that they will immediately attack the Daimona nuclear facility in Israel. How does Israel look at this possibility? Well, I believe that uh, actually the Dimona site was attacked already on Tuesday. Uh, Israel did not talk much about it, but there were reports that indicated that the Dimona area was attacked. Uh, I don't think the issue is so much the direct Iran attack of Dimona, but rather if Israel attacks the uh, the uh, Iranian nuclear installations, and it cannot attack all of them, it will be will have to have a choice on one or two of them. Mm -hmm. I think that Iran would start breakout towards weapon. They may invoke the article in the NPT that allows them to depart from the NPT, and it would unravel the entire situation, which even today is far from being stable. And for Israel to do it alone, I think it would be a great mistake. But as you said, Netanyahu is not uh, known to follow advice. Uh, it happened this October 7th, and the fact that Iran has become a threshold state happened under his watch. And he may desire, given that he feels that he has a window of opportunity until the American elections, that right. the U.S. administration is limited in his action to take a very severe actions against those facilities. So I think there is high likelihood that he may do that. Personally, I think it would be a mistake to do it at this time and oh. alone, but I think it's a plausible possibility. All right, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you very much indeed, Dr. Avner Cohen, for joining us with our perspective there. My pleasure. Thank you. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.